Okay, welcome. Today is September 1st. So uh, this week's theme is going to be ski or midsection punching. Uh, tonight is basic tonight, so we will go over a couple of basic techniques and then we'll kind of elaborate from there throughout the week. Uh, let's go ahead and get up and start stretching. Okay, chin to shoulder, each, knee, sun, she, go, rope, shich, hach, ku, ju, up and down, each, knee, sun, she, go, rope, shich, hach, ku, ju. Okay, your to shoulder, each, Ni, san, shi, go, ro, shi, hach, ku, ju. Okay, arms forward. Ich, ni, san, shi, go, ro, shi, hach, ku, ju. Backwards. Ich, ni, san, shi, go, ro, shi, hach, ku, ju. Cross. Ich, ni. Sun, she, go, rope, she, chi, hach, ku, ju. Okay, right hand up, stretching to your left. Up, left hand up, <clears throat> stretch to your right. Okay, switch it over. Right hand up, stretching to your left. And up, left hand up, stretch to your right. Okay, so let's go to your left side, then reverse, making circles, each, reverse, knee, sun, chi, go, rope. Chich, Hach, Ku, Ju. Okay, stretching to your right, going down to your right side, left foot as flat as possible. <clears throat> Switch, down to your left side, have your right foot as flat as possible. Okay, now switch it over. Your left toes pointing up, so you're on your left heel. Again, try to have your right foot as flat as you can. Okay, switch it over. Your left side, now your right toes are up, so you're on your right heel. Okay, come up. Okay, feet together, bend in the knees, rotate them counterclockwise. Each. Ni, san, shi, go, ro, chi, hach, ku, ju. Okay, clockwise. Ich, ni, san, shi, go, ro, chi, hach, ku, ju. Okay, straighten them out. <clears throat> Keep legs as straight as you can. Bend at the waist. Try to touch the ground. Remember, don't let the knees bend. And Fold at the waist and hang there, trying to hit the ground. Okay, now bend your knees, keeping your feet in contact with the, with the ground. So you bend your knees, shoulders are back, trying to keep a good position. Straighten out the knees, bend at the waist, touching the ground, or trying to. Bend those knees. Okay, good. Again, remember, bring those shoulders back so that you have a nice, good, strong, straight spine. Feet are flat on the ground. Straighten out the knees. Bend at the waist. And last one. Bend those knees. And hold it there. Each knee. San. Shi. Go. Ro. Shi. Ach. Ku, ju, ju, 
Juni, Jusan, Juyan, Jugo, Juro, Jishich, Juhaj, Juku, Niju. And straighten them out. And down into the same efforts. <coughs> Okay, to keep the wrist stretches. So start with Ikkyo. Try to keep those shoulders down, keep those elbows down. And when you do uh, these stretches, try to put the flat, put the palm of your hand flat on the back of the other hand for the Ikkyo one. So you're flexing that wrist, keeping those elbows down and bring it right up your center line. And each, ni, san, shi, go, ro, Chich, hatch, ku, ju, same thing, other hand, hand up, each, ni, san, shi, go, ro, chich, hatch, ku, ju, same thing with nikyo, left pinky up, right thumb on top, again, that palm is flat on the back of that hand, and bring that pinky back to you, each, ni, san, shi, go, Rope, shichi, hachi, ku, ju, same thing with the other hand, and bring it back. Ich, ni, san, shi, go, rope, shichi, hachi, ku, ju, sankyo. Now, left palm faces out, right palm is down on top, again, full hand is grabbing, and twist it out. Ich, ni. San, Shi, Go, Roku, Shichi, Hachi, Ku, Ju, other hands, same thing, <clears throat> Ich, Ni, San, Shi, Go, Roku, Shichi, Hachi, Ku, Ju, Kotegayashi, palm faces you, other palm is flat on the back of that hand, fingers come around, and turn it out, Ich, Ni, San, Shi, Go, Ro, Shichi, Hachi, Ku, Ju, the hands and then Ich, Ni, San, Shi, Go, Ro, Shichi, Hachi, Ku, Ju, K. Stretch those fingers, stretch those left fingers, out, over, and down. Straighten it out, stretching those. Flexors and now other hand, same thing. Right. Head out, stretch them, and down to stretch. And shake those hands out lightly. Okay. Left hand back, <clears throat> right hand up, and coming out of that left elbow, and reach that right hand across. Up. Right hand back, left hand up. Going down to that right elbow, and bring that left hand across. Okay, now, try both hands, if you can do both hands, and try both elbows, if you can do both elbows, try and go all the way back. Okay, and come up. Okay, feet in front. Okay, so remember to keep those knees down. And reach for your toes, reach for your feet. Reaching out. And come up. Now, grabbing some part of your, of your leg, your thigh, your knee, your calves, your feet, and try to pull yourself a little bit further in. Remember, keep those knees down. And down, and pull. And up. <clears throat> okay. So from here, go ahead and do some ukemi. So, left knee is up. <clears throat> Tuck your chin in and rocking exercises. Remember, keep those uh, arms between the shoulders, between the knees. And rock. Each knee. Sun. Shi. Go. Shichi. Hachi. Ku. Ju. All right. And that's 
spread them out. Okay, both hands over to your right side. And up. <clears throat> now both to your left. And up. And now to the middle. And up. Bring those feet in. Okay. Grab the toes. And try to put your forehead <clears throat> down to your toes. Remember, exhale as you go down. Inhale as you come up. And down. Up. Down. Up. Down. And up. Okay, go ahead and get on up. <clears throat> Some body movement. So, uh, if things go today, I'm hoping to, uh, we're going to just really work on uh, two of the uh, body works. So first one is kaiten or pivoting. So I'm here, left or hidari hamni, and I shift and move, I look the other way. Now I'm migi, right or migi hamni here. So as I do this, I'm going to do this facing the camera. As I'm here, my hands stay in front of me as I'm doing it. I don't bring my hands out wide. Instead, my hands stay from here and go right in front of me. Okay? So let's go ahead and do kaiten 10 times. So, ich, ni, san, shi, go, ro, chichi, hachi, ku, ju. Okay, next one is what I would call, uh, I like to call just a basic tenkan. I'm here, left, or hidari hami, facing that way. I pivot, and I just draw my foot back. I'm still left, or hidari hami, facing the opposite way. Here, pivot, draw that foot back. Again, hands stay in front of me as I do it. So my hands are here, I don't bring them out. And then over instead, I can just think of you know, either cutting them down or cutting them up, but they stay in front as I move through. Okay? So, basic tenkan. Here we are. So, pivot, draw back. Each. Pivot, draw back. Knee. Sun. Shi. Go. Rope. Chichi, Hachi, Ku, Ju. Okay. Now, right or Migi Hami, again, same thing. So now my right foot should always be in front. So I'm here. So I pivot, draw back, each. Pivot, draw back, Ni, San, Shi, Go, Roku, Chichi. Hachi, ku, ju. Okay. Just to finish things off, well, pardon me, we're gonna do four footworks. <laughs> we may not do this one later on, but just so we get it out of the way, uh, just so we talk about it. Irini tenkan, or stepping forward. So I'm here left with hidari hamni. I step with my right foot. I pivot. I draw my left foot back. Now my right foot's facing forward. The other way, again, hands stay in front. So I step, pivot, draw back, okay? And when you're doing this, try to make sure, again, I know I'm bad at it, try to keep those shoulders over those hips as you're moving. So not trying to lean in or lean back, but just trying to, as you move, keep everything over your hips as best you can. Okay, so, Idimi Tenkan. So, step, pivot, draw, each, step, pivot, draw, knee, sas, chi, go, rope, chi, hachi, ku, 
juice. Okay. Last for the ones we'll probably be using tonight is front foot tension. So I'm here with my left foot forward. Way to think about it is <clears throat> something is coming from your left side, so you acknowledge something's coming from your left side. You're looking at it. You draw that foot back. Hands come down. Now, I should be ending up at a slight angle. So, if I'm here, I look to my left. I draw that left foot back. Bam, here. I'm at this about 45 degree angle, okay? I try not, try not to end up 90, it might happen, but try. <laughs> so we're here, so left or hit that behind me, front foot tension, so we acknowledge something to our left. We draw that left foot back, each. We square back up, <clears throat> again. We acknowledge something to our left, we draw that foot back, knee. Sun. Chi. Go. Rope. Chi. Hachi. Ku. Ju. Okay. Now, do the same thing with the right foot, okay? Again, we're here, right, or maybe how many? I look to my right, I acknowledge something's to my right, I draw that right foot back at that angle, hands come down, each. Square back up. Acknowledge something to my right, draw that right foot back, knee. Sun. She. Go. Rope. Shichi. Hachi. Ku. Ju. Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> very quickly, so, ski, straight punch. We're primarily going to the midsection, so it's here. And we step forward and punch right to that midsection for right now. We're punching knuckles up this way right here to that midsection. When we do it, we're stepping. So as I'm here, I'm going to strike with my back hand. So I go from here and I come forward with that punch to my partner's midsection. When we do that, that means that we need to be I hummy. So if I'm here, Right or Mickey Hami, I've got my right foot forward for my partner to attack me. They're also uh, going to have their right foot forward to come forward and ski. Okay? So it's I Hami, so I'm here right. They would be there right. <laughs> okay? So, first one we're going to do is a Koku Ho. Okay? So, as that strike comes into my midsection, all I'm going to do is get off to the side, kite and pivot. As I do, my hands go above the arm and they come into my center. My hand raises, my left hand raises up. I pivot, kite then back to do the throw. Okay? So, uh, pardon me one second, I forgot to grab my simulated arm. I can use this all of us. No, 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 I'll, I'll just use this. Okay. So, as that ski comes into right here, right into my midsection, I'm going to get off the line. As it gets off the line, I kite then, one hand goes on top, other hand goes on top, and then I keep it tightened into me. My right hand would be pushing down, my left hand comes up, and then I pivot back to throw. Okay? So, as I'm here, as this ski comes in, I'm going to let it go. As it goes, my right hand goes on top, left hand goes also on top of the arm, raises up, and throws. Okay? So, let's go ahead and do that a couple of times. So, do the first, first one. 
facing uh, the Kamiza, so I'm here, left of the Dari Hamhi. So as that ski comes in, I get off the line, kite in, I bring my right hand in front of my center, my left hand's on top of theirs. I raise up, I pivot back, and I throw, okay? So now I'm here right from Miki Hami, same thing, ski comes in, I slide off the line, kite then. As I kite then, my left hand brings her hand to my middle. My right hand raises up, I pivot back, kite then, and I throw. Okay. <clears throat> Facing the camera, ski comes in, I get off the line, kite then. My right hand would be on my, kind of like in my thigh. My left hand raises, kite then back, pivot to throw. So, right or Miki Hamni, I'm here. So, as that ski comes in, I get off the line, and I kite then. As I kite then, left hand stays in front of me, I raise up, pivot back, and throw. All right. So, four more. So ski is coming in, as the ski comes in, I get off the line, kite in, keep my hands in front of me. Hands are on top of their arm. Left hand comes up, kite in back to throw. Okay, right or Miki Hani, here. Ski comes in, I get off the line, I kite in, as I kite in, my left hand would kind of be like on my thigh, right hand is above their arm, I raise up, and I throw. Okay, last two. So ski is coming in here. As the ski comes in, I get off the line, kite then. As I kite then, bring that hand down, raise my left hand up, kite then back to throw. The last one. So, here I am, right, or maybe hang me. Ski comes in, as it comes in, I get off the line, kite then. As I kite then, Raise my right hand up, pivot back, and throw. So kind of just, you know, the way I like to do things is as I do that full kite then, as I do that kite then, I completely pivot one way, up, and I completely pivot back the other way. So that's just the way I like to do things. So uh, some of it might be, you know, depending upon your partner and so forth, but just uh, that's where I like to start from. Okay, for the ukemi. How would you take it then? Kimmy, it's just a simple back fall, but it's got a couple of little pieces to it that you want to make sure of when you get to a partner, we want to emphasize. So, as I do that ski, this hand, my partner should not leave it in front of my leg. They should be drawing it off the line just a little bit. And as they do, they draw it a little bit forward. They keep that hand down as they raise my chin up, as they raise my chin up, again, I shouldn't come straight back. I should be at a slight angle, so when my shoulders are at least partially off my hips, and then I can step back and do a nice easy back fall. So, from this perspective, I'm here. As I do that ski, they bring it off the line a little bit. Head raises up, shoulders off the hips, and then back and Ushiro Kemi. So, with that being said, let's, let's work on the Ukemi four times, okay? So we'll hit all four directions. So, as we're here, I'm gonna start right or Migi Hami. So I'm gonna be punching with my left hand, okay? So if we're here, we step over that left foot, punch. Our partner takes our hands slightly off our hips, slightly forward and down, lifting up our chin, again, off our shoulders or off our hips. And then as they go to throw, we step back and then take appropriate Ushiru Kemi. <clears throat> okay. So now I'm right, or Miki Hami, facing you. Don't hit the comments out. Punching with my left hand. So as I step forward, I ski, as I ski, my partner takes it slightly off the, off the line and forward. Now, they raise my head. As they raise my head, it's off. My shoulders are off my hips. And then they go to throw and take a probing machine to a chemi. Okay. 
This is the easier way to do it. So here, left, or Hidani Hamni, I'm here. I'm going to punch with my right hand, so I step forward. Punch with my right hand, they take it off the line a little bit. And forward and down. They raise my, hip, my chin up. As they raise my chin up, my shoulders should be off my hips. And then they go to throw, and I take appropriate Ushiru Kemis. Okay, last one for, for this one. I'm here. Um, right or Miki Hamni, I'm going to be punching with my left hand. So as I'm here, I step forward, punch with my left hand. They take it slightly off the line, forward and down. They raise my chin up, shoulders are off my hips. And then from here, they throw me, so I take appropriate Ushiru Kemi. <clears throat> okay, so. That's the first one to do. Uh, you could call that an emote because we pretty much stay to the front of the body. The second one is that ski comes in. Get my simulated arm real quick. So, as that ski comes in, again, I'm going to make contact with it, put it into my body, and then I'm going to tan half, raise up, and throw. Okay? So on that one, as that ski, sorry, do it this way so you can see. <laughs> so as that ski comes in, I get off the line, hand goes on top, I bring it into me, I do a tenkan, kai ten. Raise up and throw. Okay, so on this one, the ski comes in, I make the contact, get that hand into me, I tenkan, Hi then, raise up and throw. Okay. So this would be kind of like an, uh, one. This could be an idea of one way to do an uda or staying behind the body. So as we're here, so do it. So we're all facing the same way to begin with. So left or hidari hami. Ski comes in. I get off the line. My hands go on top of theirs. I do that ten con, and then kai ten. I raise that left hand up, kai ten back, and throw. Okay, right or maybe hand me. I'm here. That ski comes in as it comes in. I get off the line. My hands go on top of theirs. I get it into me. I do that ten con at that point. Now I kai ten. Keep my left hand down, raise my right hand up, tight then back and throw. Okay, facing the camera now. So, ski is coming in right to my midsection as it comes into my midsection. I get off the line, my hands go on top. Ten times. Then I do a kite then. Left hand raises up, right hand stays, keeps your arm down. Kite then back and throw. So right or Miki Hami, I'm here. That ski comes into my midsection, I get off the line. Hands go on top, finish my tenkan, now kaite. Raise the hand up, pivot back, and throw. Okay, four more. So here we are. Left or Hidari Hami, here. That ski comes in, I get off the line, my hands go on top. I tenka, now I kai ten. Keep that right hand down, raise that left hand up, pivot back, and throw. Okay. Right or midi hani. Here we are. Ski comes in, get off the line, hands go on top, tenka. Now kai ten, bring it from all the way around. Raise that right hand, pivot, kai ten, and throw. Okay, last two. <clears throat> so here we are. So left or Hidari Hami. Ski comes in. Get off the line. Ten come. Kai ten. Raise that left hand up. Pivot back to throw. <clears throat> okay, last one. Right or Miki Hami. So ski comes in. As that ski comes in, we get off the line. Hand goes on top. Ten come. Now, Kai ten. Raise that right hand up, give it back, kind of to throw. Ah. Okay. No one saw it, that's okay. Sir. We're going to raise it from the tape. 
Okay, so what does the ukemi look like? Well, the ukemi is pretty similar, uh, except now you got now you got to make sure you make a, a, a go around the corner. So as I do that ski, they're going to have my hand again, but this time they're going to turn out. As they turn out, I got to make sure my feet move with them. As they move with them, I got to make sure my my arm stays attached to my rest of my body, my leg. Again, they raise up, and then I can step back to take you Kenny. So, as I'm facing the camera, one of the things to remember is you gotta, if your partner's doing this right, they should be bringing you around a corner, okay? So as I do that ski here, and they bring it out here, they just don't bring it straight back. They have to, well, their body's right there, so they have to make sure you have to go around their body, go around that corner. So you've got to move with that hand and that foot around that section, up and throw, okay? So again, we're going to do this, you know, just four times, just so you hopefully have a nice feel for uh, what's going to go on. So I'm starting left or hidari hami, punching with my right hand. So as I'm here, I go in and I step with my right foot to punch. They're going to take it, they're going to put their hand on top. Now, as here, now they're trying to do that ten time. My arm is coming up more and more to my right. So, as they start to turn and do that kaiten, my body moves with them because I like my arm. I like my arm where it is. Now, they raise my chin up. As they raise my chin up, again, my shoulders off my hips. And then they throw it. So I step back and take appropriate Rashidu Kim. So now I'm here right or Miki Hami. I step and punch with my left hand. As I step and punch, hand's gonna go on top, they're gonna bring it off to the side. Now as they do that, they should have done that 10 count, so it's right here. Now as they do that kaiten, it's gonna come around that corner. As it comes around that corner here, they raise up my chin and then throw. So take appropriate Ushiru Kemi. <clears throat> so, here I am, left, I hit down me, be punching with my right hand. So I'm here, I step with my right, my partner takes my arm, it's slightly off my, my hip to begin with. They've done their ten cut, now as I do that kite then, they're going to be taking it more to my right side. So I bring my right foot around, following with it, they stretch it out, they raise up my chin, Shoulders off the hips, and then take a perfect Ushiru Kemi. Okay, the last one. So, here I am, right or Miki Hamni, I'm going to be punching with my left hand. So as I'm here, I think I'm going to get right about there. I step forward with that left, punch. Hand comes off the line a little bit. Now, that's as they do their ten kai, now as they do their kai pen, that's going to bring my arm around that corner. Now from here, they stretch it out, they raise up my chin, shoulders are off my hips, and throw. And they appropriate your coming. Oh, I got I went off, went off, uh, off screen there for a second. <laughs> okay, so that's one way to do a simple ski kokyoho kokunage. Now let's get into irimenage. I believe for one of the Q ranks, uh, they ask you to do it three different ways. So we're actually going to do three slightly different footwork to do Edi Minagi or entering throw. So, first one is, is that ski comes in. All I'm going to do is just step forward and bring my hand over. Now, if you notice, let me use my simulator on here. If my partner is going to ski right here, I just can't go forward and hope to touch them. Okay? As it comes in here, I have to go in off the line to get to the side of their shoulder to throw, okay? So as that ski comes into my middle, I just can't rush forward and hope to touch them to throw them. I need to still get off the line, have that hand come up their, up their uh, if you're wearing a gi, up their lapel, or these seams right here, so they don't quite see it, okay? So as it comes here, my hand only oh, snakes up 
and goes through. <clears throat> so, again, the football kind of this one is pretty easy. Well, simple but not easy, as uh, one instructor likes to say. I have to come in and throw. As I do that, I, I don't want to use this front hand to push my partner's punch out of the way. I just keep it in front of me as insurance, okay? That in case I don't quite move off the line, I at least have something there to help it move over a little bit, but I'm not trying to push it off the line, okay? So, let's try this one together. This is a very direct irimenage, okay? So over here, left, we get that hami. As we're here, that ski comes in, we get, we move our left foot off the line, we step forward, right hand goes over through to throw. Now right or midi hami, same thing, we're here, that ski comes in, we move that right foot off the line, take our left foot through, and throw. <clears throat> Facing the camera. Uh, if you'll notice my footwork, I, ger I generally like to go behind people to throw them. That's just me. That's the thing I like to do. So we're here. As that ski comes in, I move that left foot off the line and I step that right foot through and throw it. Again, you want to try to keep those hands in front of the shoulders as best you can. So again, not trying to throw from out here, but right here in front. So right to Rimi Hami. Ski comes in, move that right foot off the line, and then enter with that left. Okay, here we are. Left, or did that how many? So four more. Ski comes in, off the line, step through, and throw. Again, trying to make sure you keep those shoulders on those hips, head over, so you're keeping yourself well balanced. Right to the how many? Ski comes in, off the line, step through, and throw. All right. Two more. Left, or Hedari Hami, we're here. Ski comes in, step forward, and throw. Okay, last one. Right, or Miki Hami, here. Ski comes in, off the line, and step and throw. Okay. Um, you can take Yukemi a couple of different ways for this. Um, one way to do it is as you come up here to get to, uh, to do the ski, it feels, you feel it, and you just kind of get out of the way, <laughs> okay? Um, alternatively, what you can do is, as you ski, you're here, you feel it coming in, and then you can just do a little side fall. Uh, you can also just come in and go straight down. Part of it depends on your comfort level with you, Kenny, and also how fast you and your partner are working together. Some of these Ukemis, especially the first one, works much better if you and your partner are going really fast <laughs> because it's very dynamic. Let's just work on just doing a nice simple back fall or back roll um, just so everyone's kind of on the same page with it. So again, I'm going to do the Ukemi four times. So I'm here, left, or hit that behind me, I'm going to be punching with my right hand. So as I punch with my right hand, I should be moving my shoulders, my head back, because something's coming right from my throat. And then from here, I just step back with that right foot and take a nice, simple back ball. So here I am, right, or behind me, looking at the camera. So as I'm here, I step forward with that left, as I step forward, here comes that arm. So as it comes back, comes in, I want to move my shoulders and my head back, okay? So I don't want it to be taken off. At that point, I can then just step my left foot back and nice, simple back ball. Okay. Left, or did that behind me? Again, punch with my right hand. As I'm here, I step with my right, I step with my right, that hand is coming in for an imanage, so I draw everything back, and I draw everything back. I can then just tuck my right leg back, and then pull. Okay, last one. Right, or Miki Hamni. I'm here. I step with that left, and I step with that left. That 
hand is really coming right here, so I'm going to move my whole body back. As I do that, then I can just bring that left foot back and pull. Okay. So that's the first one. It's kind of a very direct entry, very assertive at Imanage. It's great to do on Randori, especially if you have partners who are really coming in and you really kind of, I don't want to say make a statement, but to clear some space as Ski comes in, bam, that kind of makes the other UKs go, oh, okay, I'm going to back up for a second, kind of regroup. One of my favorites. Next one, now we'll use the Kaiten footwork. So, you get my simulated arm. So, simulated arm, here we are. That ski comes in, as it comes in, I'm just going to get next to it, bring my their head to my shoulder, raise up, and step through and throw. Okay, so, that one is pretty, the footwork is a kaiten, so as that ski comes in, I kaiten, as I kaiten, I bring their head to my shoulder, I raise that arm up, Height then back, and then step through to throw. Okay, so if you did, if you're able to do the koku ho, you can do, you can definitely do this one. Okay, so as I'm here, left and the on me, that ski comes in. As it comes in, I height then. Now, as I height then, I take my left hand. It'd be on the back of their head. I bring it to my right shoulder. I raise my right hand up, and then I kaiten back. As I kaiten back, I make sure everything's square, and then I step over that right foot to throw. Okay, right, or midi me here. Again, that ski comes in, as it comes in, I slide off the line. I take my right hand on the back of their head, bring it to my left shoulder. As I bring it to my left shoulder, I raise my left hand up, and then kaiten back. Now from here, I just step forward and throw. Okay, now facing the camera, left, or hidari hamni, ski comes into my belly. As it comes in, I kaiten, as I kaiten, that left hand comes to my right shoulder to bring your head, raise that right arm up, kaiten back, and then step to throw. Okay, right, or midi hamni, <coughs> here, Ski comes in, ski comes in, I slide off the line, take my right hand behind their head, kaiten, right hand comes to my left shoulder, left hand comes up, kaiten back, as it kaitens back, then I step forward and throw. <coughs> okay, four more. Left, or hidari hamni, here, ski comes in, I get off the line, kaiten, as I kaiten, that left hand comes to that right shoulder, Raise that right hand up, kaiten back, step through the throat. Okay, right, or midi hami. Here, ski comes in, off the line, kaiten, take your right hand, bring it to your left shoulder, raise that left hand up, kaiten back, step over that left foot to throat. Okay, last two. Left, or get that knee. Ski comes in, get off the line, kite then, take your left hand, put it behind your head, comes to your right shoulder. Raise that right hand up, kite then back, now step through to throw. Okay, last one. Right or maybe come knee, ski comes in, the ski comes in, kite then, take that right hand, put it to your left shoulder, that's where your head should be. Raise that left hand up. Height then back, and then step through the throat. Now, when you're actually doing this with your partner, do you have to pause at each step? No. Uh, preferably, it's done here and there, where you try to move everything together. But here, so we make sure we get all the pieces, we're kind of slowing it down a little bit. So, in actuality, is it comes in, I kite then, bring their head, raise up, and then step through the throat. But to make sure that we get, we understand and we don't shortchange ourselves, we need to make sure we get that full kite then once, raising up, full kite then back, 
and then stepping through to make sure the hand, yeah, hand and foot work together, okay? So, the academy for that one is, you know, pretty, uh, pretty similar. I do my ski, as I do my ski, they bring my head forward, as they bring my head forward, you see my shoulders off my hips, they raise up, and then they step through and throw, okay? So let's again do that four times. So I'm here left, I hit that behind me, striking with my right hand. As I'm here, I step, ski. Now here they kind of, they take my head, they put it to that shoulder. As they put it to that shoulder, now that hand raises up. Shoulders should be off the hips. And then they step through and throw. And I take appropriate Ushida Okay. So now right or Miki Hamni, punching with my left hand. Here, I step forward with my left. Oh, again, now they're going to take my head, put it onto their lead shoulder. As they do that, now they're going to raise that hand up. Again, shoulders should be off the hips. And then they step through and throw and take appropriate penny. <coughs> okay. Left arm daddy hamni, I'm here. I step ski, they take my head, put it onto their lead shoulder. Now from here they raise up, as they raise up, shoulders are off the hips, and then they step through and throw. <coughs> okay, last one. So right or midi hamni, I'm punching with my left hand here. A little bit more support center. I step forward, ski, as I ski, they take my head, put it onto that lead shoulder. Now they're going to raise that head up, shoulders off the hips, and then they step through the throw, taking appropriate Ushiru Mikemi. Okay, so that's two footworks. So we had the very direct or assertive style, we had the second, Kaiten. Third is just a nice simple ten pound. So as it comes in, I just get next to them, bring my their head to my shoulder, ten pound, that hand comes up, and then I step through and throw. So this is what I call that basic ten pound. So I stay left in the daddy hamni, I'm here, I get off the line, I take that head, bring it over, I draw my right foot back. I'm still left or hidani hami, but now my right hand is up. And then I step through the throat, right hand, right foot together. Okay? There are a variety of ways to do it, even I do. This is just what I would call the three simple footwork enter, pivot, turn. So let's do the turn. So we're here, left or hidani hami. So as that ski comes in, I get next to my partner. I would have my left hand already kind of going towards our head, and then I pivot as I bring that head to my shoulder. I draw my right foot back, ten pound, raising up, step forward now with that right foot, and throw. Okay, right or midi hamni. That ski comes in, as it comes in, I slide off the line, my right hand goes behind their head as I pivot. I bring that right hand to my left shoulder. Draw that left foot back, 10 count. Step forward, throw. Okay. Left or hidari hamni, facing the camera. So I'm here, so again, ski's coming in right here as it comes in right here. I get off the line, left hand is going to the back of their head. And I do that 10 count, and that left hand should be on my right shoulder. Right hand is up, and then I step forward with that right foot and throw. Okay, right or midi hami, ski comes in. The ski comes in, I get off the line, right hand goes to the back of the head. As I pivot, I put that right hand on my left shoulder, I draw that left foot back, raising it up, and stepping through to throw. Okay, left or hidari hami, here I am. Ski comes in, I get off the line, left hand goes to the back of the head, 
Left hand goes to the right shoulder, right foot comes back, right hand raises, step forward with that right and throw. Iri menage. Okay, right or migi hami, ski comes in. That ski comes in, I slide off to the side. Right hand goes behind the head, comes to my left shoulder, left foot draws back, right hand raises up, and then step through with that left to throw. Okay, last two. So here I am, left or hidari hamni. Okay, so ski comes in, I get off the line, left hand goes behind the head, coming to my right shoulder, my right hand, right leg goes back, right hand comes up, same time, and then step through and throw. Okay, last one. So right or migi hamni. So ski is coming in. As that ski comes in, I slide, take that right hand behind their head, comes to my left shoulder, left foot goes back, left hand raises up, and step through and throw. Okay, so now in the ukemi, now we gotta make that, make that turn. So, as I do that ski, they're gonna be taking my head off that way to the side my arm is. So as I do that, I gotta make sure I come around that corner, and I want to keep whatever legs are closest to my partner still in front of me, and then as they raise it up, I can then step back and take appropriate ukemi. Again, same idea on that, like we did that ura kokyu ho, you got to make sure you go around that corner, okay? As I have you here, again, there's a body right here, you've got to go around that body some form or fashion. I like to move my front leg, that's just the way I, oh yeah, I was, uh, came up through the ranks. So let's go ahead and do that again four times. So here we are, left, or hand down behind me, punching with my right hand. So as I do that, I step, punch with my right hand. Now they take our head, and they're bringing it off our right side. Now as they do that, they're gonna do that ten kind. As I do that ten kind, I have to bring my foot, my head around. Now from here, they're going to raise that chin. As they raise that chin, shoulders should be off the hips, and then they go to throw and taking appropriate kemi. So, now facing the camera, right or mini hami, punching with my left hand. I come in and punch with my left hand. Again, they're going to push, be bringing my head over to their side. It's over to the left side. Now. From here, they're, now they do that 10 count, so I've got to make sure I come around that corner. As I come around that corner, they're going to raise that chin up, shoulders are off the hips, and then they step through the throw and take appropriate back toss. So left, or hidari hami, punching with the right hand. Make sure i got enough room. So as I step with my right, I punch. They take my head off to my right side. Now, as they do that 10 time, I gotta make sure I come around that corner. As I come around that corner, they're gonna raise my chin up. Shoulders are off my hips. And then from here, they step through the throne and take appropriate back fall. The last one, so, right or miki hamni, punching with the left hand. Here I am, I step, I punch with my left hand. They're gonna take my head off my left, past my left side. They do that 10 kind, which means I have to come around the corner. As I come around the corner, they lift, they raise up my chin, shoulders are off my hips, and they throw and take appropriate. Now the last one is front foot tension. This is a bonus. <laughs> so, as that ski comes in, I do a front foot ten shin. Now, from here, what I like to do is I'll have my hand in front. I'll slide a little bit more to the front, bringing their head to my shoulder, raise my hand up, and then ten con to throw. Okay, so for me, this is very much an omote because everything has stayed to the front of my partner's body. So one more time, so as I'm here, 
That ski comes in, as it comes in, I do a front foot tension. As I do that front foot tension, I'm gonna then slide my, my new right foot in kind of like a little bit of a V. As I do that, I bring their head to my shoulder. I raise up my right hand, and then I tend pound from there to do the throw. There's other ways to do it. This for me is the way I like to do an amote because everything has stayed completely to the front of the body. Okay, so let's do that together. So here we are, left, or head down behind me. So as that ski comes in, front foot and shin. Now what I like to do is my right hand makes a little fork. Boom, like that. I look to my right, and then I slide to my right, using my left hand to bring <coughs> their head to my right shoulder. I raise up my right hand, and then I tend kind of from there to do the throw. Again, this should make like a V when you do it. So here I am, right, or maybe behind me. Ski comes in, front foot tend shin. Make that little fork with your left hand. Look to your left. Slide to your left, bringing their head to your shoulder with your right hand. Raise your left hand, and then from there, hand time to throw. Okay. Now facing the camera. Left or hit that knee. Ski comes in. As the ski comes in, front foot ten shin. Now, right hand makes it a little fork. Look off to your right, and then slide, bringing their head to your shoulder. Raise up, and then ten pound. Okay. Right or mid knee. Ski comes in, front foot ten shin. Now look to your left, and then slide to right hand to your left shoulder. Raise that left hand up, and then ten pounds of throw. Okay, four more. So here we are. Left or hit that knee. Ski comes in, front foot tension. Now from here, kind of look to your right, and then slide to your right, bringing your hand to your shoulder, raise up, and ten count. Okay. Right your knee, knee, ski comes in, front foot, ten shin. Look to your left, slide to your left, bringing your right hand to your left shoulder, raise your left hand, and then ten count to throw. Okay, last two. So here we are. Left or hit that knee. Ski comes in, front foot ten shin. Make that little fork with your right hand. Look to your right, slide to your right, bring your left hand to your right, right shoulder, raise your left hand, and then ten count. Okay, right or mighty ham knee. Ski comes in, front foot ten shin. Look to your left, slide, bring that right hand to your left shoulder, raise up, and then Ten count. Okay. Double check the time. Seven twenty-nine. Yeah. Yeah. So we have just enough time to kind of just very quickly go over the ukemi. So let's just jump right into it. Four times together. So we're here. So we're gonna do a ski with our right hand. Now from here, we're gonna do that front foot tension. So it's gonna slide it off a little bit. Now from here, they're gonna. Draw it out. As they draw it out, it turns my body. They're going to then raise my chin, shoulders off the hips, and then take a pull from the Okay. So here I am, right, or Miki Hami. I punch with the left. As I punch with the left, they're going to go ahead and draw this hand out. Now, as they draw that hand out, now they're going to slide. As they slide, that turns my body. Now they're going to raise my chin, shoulders are off my hips, and throw. Okay. Left, we get that come knee. Here, I ski, and they ski, and they do that front foot ten shin, so they draw across. Now, they're going to slide as they slide. Should rotate my body. They raise my chin, and throw. Okay, last one. 
So right from Mickey Hamni, here, I step forward, ski from here, we're going to do that front foot tension. Now as I slide, turn my body, raising my chin, shoulder off the hips, and throw. And that is class. Thank you all very much for those of you here in person as well as those of you on Zoom. So tomorrow's class Wednesday, uh, we're going to go ahead and do one or two more basic techniques and then start to get to a, a few more advanced things that we can do from there. So see you then.